looks cold. So there's a project I've been wanting to do. It would be taking you guys behind the scenes and letting you guys see what it's like to get a horse ready to show. Now, a few years ago, I did a video series that I called Stacy's Video Diary Jack, where I tracked my training progress with a colt named Jack, which happened to be Roxy's last foal, and I tracked that for a year. What I'd like to do with you this time is share with you the story of Willow and Gabby and their journey to the show pen. I think it could be interesting for you because there's so much about the training that is so valuable for improving communication with your horse. It's also gonna be interesting because Willow and Gabby are so different in temperament. Willow is much more, what should we say, timid. She's much more insecure. And Gabby, I jokingly call my stud mare because She's very confident. <laughs> Let's go meet them. Look at you girls this morning. This is Willow. This is Gabby. As I go throughout this video series, one thing you're gonna hear me talk about over and over again are the ways that the horse's different temperaments will change and affect what happens at horse shows and out on the trail. Willow here is a more timid horse. She's eight years old now. You can't see all of her natural timidness anymore because it's kind of been covered up with training. Gabby here is four years old. She's very naturally confident, so you're gonna see that shining through, but you might not see some of the areas that she's resistant, but I think as the series progresses, you're gonna see both of their temperaments showing themselves. When I watch these two playing, it's interesting for me to notice how much their brains are reflected in the way that they use their body. Look at that extension from Gabby right there. Gabby's really comfortable with getting herself extended. She kind of opens up her body because she's very confident. And so for her to open up her body is more natural. If you watch Willow, she seems to be looking over her shoulder a lot of times because she's not naturally that confident. She tries half-heartedly to remind Gabby, you know, hey, I'm here, like stay out of my space but she doesn't actually ever follow through. And if you watch Gabby for the most part, she doesn't really take her very seriously. Willow, I always say, is, is pretty tight in her brain. She's more reactive, timid. And if you watch, a lot of her moves are very tight and collected. So collection is going to come more naturally to Willow and extension is going to become more natural to Gabby. And I find it just really interesting that you can watch their bodies and see some of what their minds are like just by the way that they use their bodies even when they're just out here playing. Remember, my job as the trainer is to rock the teeter-totter and move them to the most balanced state that I can get them to, mind and body. What do you think, guys? Show year this year? Wanna show together? Head to the World Show in October? They give away apples at the show. You've had an apple at the show, haven't you, Willow? Got a little on your nose. <laughs> now that you've met the horses, let's go back up to the cabin and I'll tell you the rest of the plan.
Our spring weather has been crazy here. We keep getting hot and cold, so my hands are freezing. Did you see Gabby's breath in the video? So I'm gonna make a little coffee. Then we'll go upstairs and talk. At the end of last year, I said to Jesse that I had an idea. I wanted to show in 2019 in Western dressage, traditional dressage, reining and ranch riding. When I asked him what he thought, he said, it sounds expensive. <laughs> Outside of sounding expensive, I like the goal. I like the idea that a lot of these events really, I believe, line up and overlap well with each other. I like the idea of setting big, scary, hairy goals that could make you a little bit nervous, but that also stretch. So at the beginning of the year, I said, I want to show Gabby and Willow at the Western Dressage World Show in October. I started making a plan by charting out all of the Western Dressage classes that I could find. And then because I believe that the tie-in between traditional dressage and Western Dressage is high, I chose to pay Willow up in USEF and USDF memberships. I will be showing Willow at traditional dressage shows as well as Western dressage shows. I'll do a little bit of reining with Willow. And then with Gabby, I'm planning on showing her in Western dressage, ranch riding, and some reining. As of right now, I'm not quite sure whether or not I want to pay up the additional fees to be able to show in USEF and USDF classes. In my podcast, episode number seven, I talked about setting SMART goals. And SMART stands for specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-bound. What I know will happen from setting these SMART goals is that it's going to make me focus more on some of the precision. One thing I've always admired about dressage as well as reining is that accuracy is a big piece of this. And accuracy in patterns, I have found, makes more accurate riders. And the more accurate you are at your requests, the better chance your horse has at getting more accurate at reading your body language. I know that if I just go trail ride, which is primarily what I've done the last two years with these horses, I know that when I'm trail riding, I tend to not ride as accurately. Now, that is absolutely not going to stop me from trail riding because I live behind a state park. So you'll see that while I'm showing these horses in these events, it's not all I'm focused on. I'll still be trail riding, I'll still be doing my groundwork, and I'll still be having a lot of fun with them. I'm excited that you've chosen to tune in to this first episode, and I hope that I'll see you in the next episode. Here are a few clips of some upcoming things to look forward to. The day of many hats. This is my husband, Jesse discover something new, think under pressure and recover. <laughs>